Hi everyone, this is Jason from Nathaniel School of Music. We are going to learn the piano intro of the song God Bless the Broken Road from the amazing country band Rascal Flats. And you're going to learn two versions of it. I'm sure you've all heard this song or if you haven't, do check it out. It's one of my favorite songs and it's sort of popularized and known because of that intro. Right? which you heard in the beginning of this lesson as well. So, we are going to divide this lesson into two parts. First off, I am going to teach you what I am calling as the playable version or the easy version, depending on what you want to call it. In this version, you are all going to be able to play it. So, get your pianos out, get a book, get a pen and paper. It's on the C major scale, not my favorite scale or hunting ground, but you may like it. So, it's going to be very easy to learn. I'm going to break down every possible thing. And after we do the easy version, I'm then going to focus on the actual version in the original as per the original. And I've spent a lot of time going through it and Watching a few other videos has sort of prompted me to kind of do my own take on it where I've just heard it and I thought that's the way it is. That's how you can play it. And I've also figured out a way to get the correct fingering going and play it like a like a country musician in, in general on the piano. Before we get cracking, for your information, the notes, the notation are all available on our Patreon. Do consider getting yourself a copy and subscribe it'll be awesome hit that bell smash the like button leave us a comment what you thought about this lesson and uh, we would also be happy to finish this entire song in this video will just be the tutorial so drop us a comment if you'd like to learn the whole song I, i'll be happy to consider it in a future installment of our video shoots let's get cracking so it's on c major easy peasy <laughs> No surprises there, all the white notes on the piano, slightly slippery if you ask me, but it's C major. Anyway, so let's go through the easy version and first off, I'd like to focus on the left hand. Okay, and the left hand just, this is what you can do. Remember this is the easy version, it's not the original version, but it's more than sufficient if you want it to sound like God bless the broken road. It'll sound really good, even this easy version. Play along with me. So the left hand goes... Bass clef, so first line... That's E, F, G, A, F, G, C. Again. E, F, G, A, F, G, C. Try to figure out which fingers work. Pinky. Ring. A, F. Giving some room to bring back the pinky there. Da, ba, ba. Okay, each one could be played as minims. Okay, to our luck, the second line is exactly the same as the first line, in the bass at least. So... Don't forget to play the lower C at the end. And if your piano doesn't have that many keys, you can always transpose it minus 12. That will allow you to play the lower octaves. Okay? Last time, only bass. Try to play along. Hmm, four. <laughs> Now the melody is exactly what I've been singing throughout this. Go to middle C on the piano and the same bass. And I'll just show you with the bass to give you the perspective.
Let's narrow that first line, shall we? First thing you'll realize is there are a lot of off beats in the melody, right? It goes Very few of the phrases seem to go with my snapping, isn't it? So if I count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and there's a lot of this rhythmic anticipation as we call it. So very few of the starting notes of the phrase start at the downbeat or at the one or the one, two, three, four beats of the bar. In fact, it's before. So the whole thing again. One and two and th whenever I say and it means off the beat. So that poses a challenge for the left hand because the left hand is on. So the independence needs to be worked out. Now you may be forced to do. Don't do that. You need to follow a steady minimum movement in the bass or half notes. Try to get just that. So just think the starting of each phrase in the right hand will always come before the left hand. So, except the first beat. Pa. 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 Okay, that's your bass whenever I said pa. So let's do that again. Pa. Pa. Pa, pa. So first time we give a gap there. Wait. Pam pam pa 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 again. Pa de do pa de do again. Ti de do one and two and three and four and one. A lot of these ends. One and two and three and four and one and let's do that whole line one now. One more time. Mm. Slightly slow. Okay, and uh, moving forward. So that melody goes. Again, a lot on off the beat, so you'll have to match the left hand accordingly. So, okay, and then we repeat that. So, we repeat that. Ba ba ba. That's also sort of repeated. And the ending is. That's not the that's the first line. Pa, 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 pa. Second line goes pa, 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 on the beat finally. So first line second line ending. Right? Whole melody. Going up pinky. Bum, bum, bum. On with the bass. And 
it's good to know that the ending bass note is actually a long whole note like ta ta na na 3 4 the whole thing goes to speed okay so i think that sounds pretty much nice if you ask me right it goes pretty much well with the song I set out on a narrow way, on rock and roll. Then I would find. I, we, I'm itching to kind of go on, but this video is only about the intro. I'll be happy to do the rest of the song as well, and it'll just take a lot more time. So we figured let this video just be for the intro. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so the easy version's done and dusted. If you're happy with that. great but i would encourage you not to be so happy if you've played the piano for about a year or two where you want to get all the bells and whistles going and play this exactly like the record exactly like what you hear on apple or spotify music and stuff like that so just a few things to tweak from the easy version to give you the final version the bass little bit little bit of arpeggiation there at the endings and the right hand will have some stacking notes instead of playing we stack some notes and then we'll change to to something more thicker something what a country piano player would more commonly play so let's dive into that so line 1 in the original version would end up being let me play it and then explain we already kind of know it so far so i'm going to move a little faster so what changed from the easy version to this version we've just added a c to the first note and you hold that down even the sustain pedal would help but then lift it properly okay okay so until you whack the next c keep the first c ringing now now you could also do i'm not hearing that in the song but i think it makes sense so first C is your uh, additional note or what we call as double stop note. Now you can whack B and G together and then G becomes your double stop. Without that, with it. I think it sounds a lot more grander and colorful. Anyway, C and G are the root and fifth or the sa and pa of the scale, so it will always sound meaty. It will always make it thicker and richer and won't clash with anything since it's the root and the fifth. That's your next double stop. Tip E at the E. Earlier you didn't do it with C, now you're doing it with C. So again, Clearly, there's a lot of C's and G's being stacked on top of the melody. What was once now becomes okay. That's your first line. You can consider this as four parts. Second part. third part okay we'll divide it in four parts so this is part 1 let's see how that goes again part 1 now little faster when we play it like the original also move your head to the pulse that's what i generally like and suggest people to do again 
sing along. Ta-da now. Now what was that? That was some serious stuff going on. Took me a little a while to figure that out. So he goes. So the melody is ta na na na, but he stacks it with the chords which are there in in for that melody, which support that melody, which is F F. So the chords stack with the melody, and uh, that's exactly what happens. What was once will now be F major, F major. That's C major in this inversion, and then he plays another C major in this inversion, E G C. So whole thing again. Let's get that first. Could actually play just that and get away with it, but that's not all. There's more, so stay tuned. So intro. So I hope that's sorted. So what he does is he breaks it up a little. Instead of just doing, which is what you'd normally find in a slightly wrong notated version of the song, it may be it it may be just blocked there. But what I think he's playing is. Right. That's an F major in spread voicing, guys. So that's F C A. So pa pa pa. Get that? Originally we would have done just that, but C A A in the right hand thumb. And then back to the single note. So, very gospel country. Just get it. Very choral. Pa pa pa. The lower voice. Alto, pa pa pa, soprano, pa pa pa, other, pa pa pa, pa pa pa. That's the rhythm. So where does that come in? No. And it goes beautifully over that G chord. It gives you that very nice dominant flavor. G with an F major over G. Very dreamy. Whole intro again in this original version. He doesn't end there. He doesn't do. Doesn't just hold it there. He does. C G E that allows the right hand to kind of go up and play the next line, which you're going to hear. Okay, to allow the right hand to go and to not miss out that beat, the left hand goes C G E. Okay, guys, I know that was a lot, but that's what's in the song, so I can't really help it. Let's slow that down even more. Play along with me if you can. Again, with the double stop C. Ah, 
last time and then let's do the last line up to some tempo okay now let's move onward to the next line very quickly so so you have to do it after the spread voicing of the bass c g e so that's C major in first inversion G major in second inversion and then we go the same chord over an E bass then you do a single G that allows your whole hand i guess to flip back and then take up this let's break that down only the right let's only do that first three chords first three hits single g and then you do g c g t g c g c so that's pa 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 g That's G C G and then single C. Single C is whacked. So let's get that. With the bass. So that G C G chord. goes with an f bass because the bass is still e e minor seventh you could say single g over that f and then you bring in that whole chord it's like an f add 9 so again again let's do that slowly Again let's do that slowly Slightly tricky over the f okay and then to our luck that's the same pa ba ba earlier we did pa ba pa 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 now we do pa ba ba pa 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 that same embellishment with the spread voicing of the bass pam 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 pa wait to the on beat okay and that's pretty much your intro and there's a nice flourish leading into the verse so before i teach you that let's revise the whole intro stick with me we have to finish this come on ti di du de di du 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 de de tu de tu Okay just don't get confused with the the chords just write them down or see the notation which is provided you can download it also on the patreon so that you don't miss a thing okay uh, i'll do it again slowly pam 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 pa 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 and now pam when you end the intro you do now g e g c d c g e g c d c g e 
cheesy. It's like a distribution of the chord between the two hands. Immediately goes to the verse. Let me try and do the whole thing a bit slowly without too much of talking and then let's conclude. Something back to tempo. Set out on a narrow way, and so on and so forth. That was the intro of God Bless the Broken Road. Hope you found it useful and. Don't worry about playing the easy version as I call it. You can it'll still sound like really good if you ask me. And maybe have a hybrid between the easy version and the absolute original version. We have had both in this video. So you could you don't have to do only easy or only original. You can do somewhere in between. See what suits you. If you are a singer as well then you don't have to learn it exactly note perfect because you're also needing to focus on your vocals and so on. But I'd encourage you if you like the song try to push yourself to the limit as they say and try to get it as original sounding as possible again this is jason zack from nathaniel hope you guys found the lesson useful do consider giving our channel subscribe smash that like leave us a comment with what you'd like to learn in the future and we are there on patreon check out our website for regular structured courses as well cheers